All right, we are going to make our way to the King's Cross station. Yeah, so we're heading to the King's Cross train station so that uh, I can pick up my, uh, get my tickets for Scotland for tomorrow. Looks like I could have dropped down to the, uh, the lower level along the canal there, but this is fine. Uh, earlier we saw, earlier we saw the uh, commuter heading this direction. It's clearly a very wide open. I think we are gonna drop down. Here we go. Beautiful little area here with flowers. Okay, that was unexpected. But worked. This is the direction that uh, I'm being guided. And again, quite pleasant. Looks like this might be some sort of a construction wall or a barrier wall of some sort. They've obviously beautified it with some murals. All right. And we're on pathway called the Greenway. Again, looking back towards the stadium over there. You see some of the rail infrastructure. You can see we've got lots Lots of opportunity for continued development here. is the end of our nature-based pathways for the day, or at least this part of the day, the morning. We're now headed back into the street network on our way to King's Cross Station.
basically we're trying to make it to the other side of that street, high street. A massive strode. Yeah, that's nice. We got the signal over this side too. Okay, back on track. Kind of annoying that uh, we got stuck right over there on the other side of the mural wall. I think we're in the right spot. We're definitely on a bit of protected infrastructure. seen some of the signage here in the lane. This is the CS2, Cycle Super Highway number two. Very nice. This is a big nasty roundabout here. We're waiting for our signal to get over to that little section. And there we go. So, it looks like we are on this cycle track, bikeway, cycle superhighway, if you will, as they like to call it, for another three miles. So, yeah, there you go. I wouldn't exactly say that this is pleasant riding, but it's definitely doable. Majority of the people we see using it are people working, food delivery, food delivery folks. That's good. Better than more motor vehicles out on the roadways. bikes, bike share bikes, kind of corralled in this area here. There you go, we got a female commuter, rider, getting to her meaningful destinations. Good to see. Again, indicator species of more comfortable routes are always when more women and children are out riding. We're not seeing a lot of kids in this neck of the woods at the moment, nor necessarily women, but she's here. 
Nice yielding behavior with that uh, motorist. That worked. Some more of the uh, bike share docking stations here on the left. And then on the right. Ah, and this is interesting. The center median private bike parking. It's not every day you see that. Very interesting. Ah, lovely trees. Sure notice the trees when they appear after uh, being in concrete jungle. Again, note to cities, want a more livable place, plant more trees, give them the ability to grow nice, big and tall, create a tree canopy. Again, the, uh, the red markings, according to Will, the red markings here on the pavement indicates that this is a TFL facility, which is good to know. Typically the TFL facilities are not the purview of the actual city of London. These are typically are the bigger roads, highway facilities, higher speed facilities. So it makes sense that we're on these protected and separated facilities. like now we're in a shared lane situation for a moment. Again, we're skirting a lot of stuff to be able to get to the King's Cross station. Context, protected bike lane, lots of obstacles. Again, not sure why we even have a red light, but we do. been positioned a little differently with the guys rolling right through I would have just followed them for those of you who watch my channel you know I hate stupid stoplights and stupid stop signs and almost all of them are stupid I'll remind you once again that I like to treat stop signs as yields and stoplights 
as stop signs. But honestly, some of these cycle way stop lights just make absolutely no sense whatsoever. If anything, they're just designed to take away the ease of cycling, making it frustrating. intersection here. You see the blue painted bikeways through the intersection. Definitely would be well served to have more of a protected intersection in this environment. They've got us staged back here. I'm pretty much just surrounded by food delivery once again. In the distance, you can see the green pedestrian signal already. I would assume we're going to be getting our signal here in a moment. Yep, here we go. Once again, Let's see if this guy stops. He does. I'm noticing my uh, food delivery guys are not on e bikes. The three that have been right around me have all been on standard bikes analog, acoustic, whatever the heck you want to call them. Just a normal bike. So I'm playing leapfrog with them. I can actually pedal faster than they can. And then they, they tend to roll through a lot of uh, red lights. in point. Pretty much all of them are constantly on their phone talking. I'm assuming they're getting more delivery notices or who knows. Maybe they're just talking with their significant other. Hard to say. Well, we now have a lineup of four or five people on bikes. Fair number of them still are food delivery, but with that one turning off, looks like the rest are just normal people riding. It's great. definitely does give you the sense that you are in the big city. As I understand, the majority of the commuter bike traffic that we are seeing in London is right at rush hour right at five o'clock, just after. Oh, 
we're gonna be making a right up here. Christiana cargo bike, box cargo bike. Very nice. Definitely get the sense that you don't need four lanes of traffic here. Good opportunity for another protected bike lane. Yeah, looks like some more construction here. Again, these bollards indicate that this, these streets are the city of London. Learned that from Will yesterday. here in just a spell. Hundred 
feet will be turning right. Looks like it might be that street up there with the trees. It's always fun turning right on these. You have to get through the intersection and then queue up. again have a little flexi stick separated and now a curb elevated separated I'll take it and yeah it, this is a little bit uh, stressful to be riding on these streets I definitely would not want to do it every day certainly get the sense that there is still way too much car capacity and uh, be nice to see some more protected facilities reduction in car travel lanes. less of this or you just get abandoned Definitely see a lot more uh, foot traffic, perhaps because this is uh, lunchtime. It's about cargo bike. Again, nice to see. when you uh, don't have motor vehicles screaming by, your blood pressure just goes way down, stress level. All right, oh cool, the Harrison. <laughs> That's for you, mom and Jim a little corner pub called the Harrison. Very nice. Oh, look at that, that's a very sweet little section there. Very nice. Okay, I think that this is a little wiggle for me. Yeah, see, there you go. There's my wayfinding for King's Cross. We're headed in the right direction. Very nice. And we're on the cycle. Cycleway six is the street that we're on. And we've got our wayfinding again, so we know we're in the right spot. telling me yesterday, the uh, wayfinding signage is 
isn't it isn't quite where it needs to be, but it's getting better. destination is in sight. It's right over there. Heading over to King's Cross. Okay, everyone, I hope you enjoyed that little ride to King's Cross Station. I need to pop on in and get my ticket for tomorrow to head on up to Edinburgh, uh, Scotland. So, uh, hey, I'll uh, check in with you in a little bit. Talk to you later. Cheers. And again, sending a huge thank you out to all my Active Towns ambassadors supporting the channel on Patreon, Buy Me a Coffee, YouTube Super Thanks, as well as making contributions to the nonprofit and purchasing things from the Active Towns store. Every little bit adds up and it's much appreciated. Thank you all so much.